This animation will show how cardiopulmonary resuscitation, or CPR, can help someone who isn't breathing normally. Click the navigation arrows below the animation screen to play, pause, rewind, or fast forward the animation. After opening the casualty's airways, you need to check whether he or she is breathing. Short, infrequent gasps, known as agonal breathing, may occur. This is not normal breathing. If the casualty is not breathing or has agonal breathing, you need to call an ambulance. This unconscious casualty is not breathing. An ambulance has been called and now you need to do cardiopulmonary resuscitation, or CPR. To do chest compressions on the casualty, place the heel of your hand in the center of his or her chest. Cover the hand with your other hand and interlock your fingers and press down five to six centimeters. After each compression, release the pressure, but keep your hands in position. After 30 chest compressions, do two rescue breaths. If you aren't trained in emergency life support, then you should just perform chest compressions. For each rescue breath, you should breathe steadily into the casualty's mouth to make his or her chest rise. The rate of compressions should be about 100 to 120 compressions per minute. Performing CPR will keep oxygenated blood flowing around the casualty's body until the emergency services arrive. Remember, you need to do cycles of 30 chest compressions, followed by two rescue breaths. This is the end of the animation. Click on the animation screen to watch it again.